The Child Nutrition Program at Central Collegiate Academy was the brainchild of the Director of the Office of Nutrition, Betty Wiggins, and myself, Daryl Bingham. What we wanted to do was offer the students an opportunity to have a real-world situation where they can leave the classroom and actually come into a laboratory and apply everything they just learned in the classroom. The other thing is we wanted to introduce them to an industry that most African-American children only had a chance to experience at the lower levels of employment. They never had a chance to experience at the management or executive levels. And most importantly to most of the kids, to offer them a class that they found to be very fun and exciting and encouraging them to definitely stay involved in their classwork. In the classroom this semester, what we focused on up to this point was rebranding how the cafeteria operates. Uh, we started with a clean sheet of paper. We've had detailed focus groups on, one, the experience in the cafeteria by students, student perceptions on their experience. We've had a focus group on the existing menu uh, and what students' perceptions would be about that. We've also developed a focus group on uh, the perceptions that surround free and reduced lunch applications. And, and lastly, the last focus group that we worked on to this point is how do we market and rebrand new products and services. So to this point, we work, work us really on, on focus groups, how to market, how to manage perceptions, uh, and how that relates into actually delivering meal service on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, in a cognitive learning uh, curriculum, we take concepts in the classroom and allow students to reinforce those concepts in the actual uh, food service program. We call that the laboratory. Well, there are several aspects to the child nutrition program as it relates to operations. Um, the first is that we oversee implementation of policies and procedures as it relates to all the federal guidelines that we have to adhere to. Um, so, for example, when we're preparing uh, breakfast and delivery of breakfast, preparation of lunch and delivery of lunch, as well as preparation and delivery of after school supper programs, we have to ensure that we are following all guidelines as it relates to the federal guidelines and federal standards. In addition, another responsibility of operations is to make sure that what the students learn in the classroom, they have an opportunity to apply immediately in a real life situation. So for example, if they're learning marketing and marketing strategies in the classroom, they come over here to the lab, they implement the strategies that they, they talked about in the classroom, and then we have an opportunity to observe what happens from those strategies. Um, another example is that if we're talking about time and time management, the students get an opportunity to look at, okay, if, if I have a student who's supposed to be in a certain place at a certain time and it doesn't take place, how does it affect the process of the delivery of food and the preparation of food? So those are just some of the things that operations has a responsibility of overseeing. Uh, so initially we talked about food preparation for breakfast, delivery for breakfast, food preparation for lunch, and food preparation for after school supper programs. So those are the things that we talk about all the time in the classroom and here in the laboratory. Um, because one of our, our strategies is it takes more than books for students to learn. The outcome of operating this program with it being totally student ran has been a couple of things. One, we've seen an increase in attendance in school because of the excitement for the classroom. The second thing that we've seen is we've seen the students actually provide great input as far as how to rework the meal programs throughout the whole school district. They've pointed out several inefficiencies that existed that the adults have done and showed us a more efficient way to deliver meals to their classmates. The last thing that we've seen that has just been phenomenal is they understand the concept of branding a product. And as a result, they've grown away from wanting to offer brand name products that are out there currently in the marketplace like Subway and realize in the next school year they want to brand their own product, something that they can call their own and market themselves. Mm -hmm.